In this video, we'll learn how you can copy and paste multiple text simultaneously and then use these clips, as it, as it calls, uh, to paste this information or text somewhere else. Now, we are going to use a Notepad++ for this uh, tutorial and we are going to use multi-clipboard plugin. A multi-clipboard plugin basically keeps a history of your copy text. And so here is a quick demo. I have this text that I would like to copy. So I'll just basically do control C and then I'm going to paste, uh, sorry, copy another one, control C. And then I'm going to copy the third block. <coughs> now you can see I have all these three copies here and now I would like to paste all of them together in one shot. So I'm going to simply click paste all. So you can see that I was able to paste three different text that I copied and you can see it right here. So let's get started. All right, so in order to install a multi-clipboard plugin, all you have to do is just go to plugins, go to plugins admin and search for multi-clipboard and usually it should show up, so it's right here. So let's click on that and as you can read more about it or you can also visit the this uh, SourceForge uh, page uh, to learn more. I'm going to select this and I'm going to click install and it's going to restart. Now if you don't have Notepad++ I'm going to link it right here uh, where you can actually download and install Notepad++. Uh, it is one of the most uh, amazing text editor out there. It's free, it's open source and it has a, a huge uh, plugins and many cool features. Uh, in fact, I have a lot of videos on my channel uh, that talks about all kind of features in Notepad++. And so if you want to be really efficient programmer and if you like to use Notepad++, uh, make sure that you check my channel page. And if you like the content, please subscribe to my channel. All right, so now that it restarted Notepad++, it should have installed uh, this multi-clipboard plugin all right and so the way in which you actually use it is just simply copy and paste and so i have a, a quick documentation that i would like to share all right so so here is uh, a quick steps that we are going to do in this video uh, i should have shown it a little earlier in the video uh, anyways we already installed multi clipboard plugin uh, as i said if you haven't installed notepad plus plus please check my channel and you should be able to install it now uh, in order to use this uh, plugin, all we have to do is just copy multiple times, uh, and you will see that there is a sidebar that we will we will uh, show, and all our copy text or clips, as it as uh, as the plugin calls, will show up on the sidebar. And so let's try that. So I'm going to go to plugins, multi clipboard, and right here multi clip viewer. Right, so it's actually on the left hand side, which is okay. And so I'm going to copy multiple text. So I, let's say I just want to copy this only. So control C, you can see that it showed up right here. I can select a, a, a number of words, control C. Oops, sorry, control C. Right, and then let's try this. <coughs> this is a big block, so control C. So as you can see, uh, as I'm typing control C or copying text, it is showing up uh, with, with the, the latest on the top, right? And now that I want to, let's say, uh, paste it here, I can simply actually go here and double click. And you can see it is right here. If I want to copy this second part, uh, you can see right here and so on, right? Uh, in fact, this sidebar also allows you to edit your text. So let's say for, for, for any reason, you copy the text and you may want to edit it before you paste it somewhere else. So if you actually click on this, uh, there is a small text uh, box right here that shows up. And so uh, you can actually go ahead and edit this. So if I do this, now my clipboard is edited. And so if I paste it by simply double clicking here, you can see that it is changed from what we had it before. And so it's a really uh, uh, effective way to copy multiple text simultaneously. All right, let's go back. So we can edit our text. Now, I believe that one of the most uh, useful features are some of the one that, that they have in the settings. And so let's take a look at the settings first. So go to settings right here, you can see, or you can go to plugins, 
a multi clipboard and options so it's both the things so you yeah, click on this gear icon and so there are there are a number of uh, features uh, that they have uh, so the very first is how many clips or how many copy of text uh, previous copy of text that you that you would like to store so by default it's 10 and i think that is a reasonable number because if you put it too too big you know you yourself will forget <laughs> what you copied and so 10 is a reasonable number you can reduce it uh, it also allows you to copy a text from other programs so uh, currently it's uh, disabled or i have not checked this that means that if i copy from let's say word document or from a uh, from a browser window it actually uh, will not copy that text in this clip viewer. Uh, but if I enable this, so let's do that. Yeah, so let's click OK. And let's go to a particular other application. So let's go here actually and I'll do Control C. And you can see right here it added that particular clipboard, which is a Notepad++ multi-clipboard plugin. Uh, and so you can see that you can even copy from other applications. Uh, by default, it is not set. Uh, to enable it but you can enable that as well uh, this is the width of the paste menu so if you want to change this you can change to to more the the, the larger value and the width will show up more uh, there are other uh, options so if you want to learn more about it actually you simply hover your uh, cursor and you can see that there is some documentation and so this plugin uh, has done a pretty good job of documenting what these features are uh, there's also option of uh, if you don't want to copy a really large text. For example, let's say you are you have a web browser and then you find something really interesting and you have a large set of paragraphs and if you copy that, it might affect it, uh, you know, in inadvertently in Notepad++ because it has to keep track of that uh, large text. And so you can disable that. It's uh, one of, yeah, do not copy large text. Uh, for the most part, I don't copy a really large text, so I, I'm going to keep that up open. And then lastly, uh, the spaced all feature, which is, again, is a really cool feature. And so let's say I uh, have a, an HTML file, right? So let's go and open an HTML file, okay? And let's bring it here. And let's say I want to copy multiple part of these uh, uh, this HTML page. So I'm going to delete all of these previous clipboards or so delete. So now the clipboard is clear. And so let's say I want to copy this unordered list. So I'll do control C. And then I would like to have uh, this table. So control C. So you can see it is actually adding it here. Uh, and then maybe a header tag. I mean, I'm just picking it randomly. All right, so now I have three set of clips uh, in my clipboard. And let's say now that I have copied all the things, I just want to paste all of them. And so there is a feature called Paste All right here. And so what it's going to do is if I click on this Paste All, oops, sorry, wrong place, right here, and Paste All. So as you see, it actually reversed the order of paste. So the first one that we copied, it showed up right here. And then it copied the table. And then it copied the head or header uh, information, uh, those three clips. And so if you go back to option right here, there is an option which says paste all item in reverse order. So that's what it does. And it allows you to take a multiple section of a code or anything else and then simply just copy multiple times and then at the end, you just paste all of them together. Now, interestingly, you, you might also have noticed that it also added a new line character. Uh, because if you notice right here, this is the option. This, uh, this unordered list didn't have a new line character. So technically, it should actually come here. But because we have the settings uh, uh, under options that just add a new line character or a new line basically between my clips, uh, it actually adds that and it makes it much easier to simply paste a multiple clips uh, in one shot. So so this is one of the very useful plugin that many many of us don't know. We simply just copy and paste and many times as as I said earlier, you just you know you lose the previous copy text and it's just always annoying uh, and you have to copy it again. 
by using this plugin actually it allows you to keep all of them together and then you can use multiple times also uh, and so it is a very very useful tool for a developer or a programmer uh, in which we uh, often you know copy a lot of text and so I hope you like this video you learned something new that you didn't know uh, if you did, then uh, just please click on the like button uh, and, and check out my channel page. If you like the content, uh, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I try to show and demonstrate the tools or tips and tricks that, that can help you make a better programmer. And so if you like the content, please uh, subscribe to my channel. All right. Thank you very much. Bye.